Years before Michael Keaton donned the pointy-eared cowl in Tim Burton's Batman, there was another comic book character that was waiting to be birthed onto the silver screen. Superman? Nope. He-Man? Nope. Flash Gordon? Nope. Toxic Avenger? No. Close. I'm talking about Swamp Thing, and NVD has brought this 1981 classic from legendary horror director Wes Craven back to life in glorious 4K UHD. I'm JT the Talking Head, you are the audience, let's check this out. So Swamp Thing has a pretty interesting plot. Dr. Holland, a scientist played by Ray Wise from David Lynch's Twin Peaks, is a scientist studying in the Florida Everglades making a serum that could end world hunger. One day, the dastardly villain Arcane shows up with a group of mercenaries and destroys Alex's lab and tries to kill him. In an attempt to escape, Holland takes the volatile serum but drops it, setting off an explosion and setting himself and the lab on fire. Holland jumps into the murky waters of the swamp and that mutates him, making him reemerge as the heroic but disfigured Swamp Thing. Holland now has the new formed ability of super strength and the ability to heal his friends. So Swamp Thing's origin story is fairly generic by modern superhero origin tropes, but this movie was still a really fun romp. It has fun practical effects, great cheesy costume design, Legendary direction from Wes Craven in the time period between the when he did The Hills Have Eyes and Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, this is before Nightmare on Elm Street. This is 1982. So, yeah, be two years before Elm Street. It's crazy. This movie does come off as a little bit of a middle-of-the-road early superhero film with some dumb action and sappy romance between Holland and the love interest Cable, who's played by John Carpenter collaborator uh, Adrian Barbeau from Escape from New York and The Fog. But all that being said, however, when you look at this film from like a point of view that isn't overclouded by our spoiled view of the modern MCU and the sense that, that puts into our brains, uh, it's actually a pretty great superhero film. Now, this disc from MVD gives us two different cuts of the film the theatrical PG version, and the unrated international cut. Both are presented in 4K UHD with HDR and Dolby Vision. I personally watched the international unrated version, but all I really found was an extra two minutes of gratuitous TNA that was added to make the international version a little more hardcore. So unless you really care about seeing Adrian Barbeau's breasts, I would say just spin the PG version and call it a day. It's absolutely fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. So I have the list of bonus features. Let's read those off. The bonus features include two audio commentaries of the PG cut, not the unrated cut, just the PG cut, one of them by Wes Craven and the other by makeup effects artist William Munns, uh, Tales from the Swamp featurette with Adrian Barbeau, Hey Jude featurette with Reggie Batts, That Swamp Thing featurette with character creator Lynn Wine, Swamp Screen designing DC's main monster featurette, From Krug to Comics How the Mainstream Shaped a Radical Genre voice featurette, Photo Galleries, and Theatrical Trailer. So let's get into the meat potatoes of this packaging. So starting out, as you can see, we have a slip cover. It's from the 4K Laser Vision Collection. MVD has uh, completely revamped their rewind collection for 4K, making it a bit of a difference. This is number one in the Laser Vision Collection. Um, and I know the guy who uh, oversaw this release, and he told me a bunch of really cool like um, references and stuff that he included in it. First and foremost, let's go over this tab. What is this white tab? What this is, is the CED reference. So CEDs were, are a dead media. It's an optical disc media, a big optical disc in a case, wherein you put the case with the disc in it inside the disc player, and then the player would pull the disc out like this, and you would pull the case out and watch the movie that way. And then more often than not, you had to actually halfway through the movie, it was like a laser disc. You had to put the case back in, the CED player would push the CED back in, you took it out, you flipped it over, put it back in again, and it took it out and you watched the other part of the movie. So that is a reference to the CED. That's a tab that all CEDs have on it. So let's take our slip cover off. It's the same exact artwork underneath the slip cover. Opening it up, the presentation is you got two discs. You got a Blu-ray to 4K 
and you have a little mini poster. We'll show this mini poster in a minute, but let's talk about the discs first. So the first and foremost thing is if you get the Blu-ray version of this, which this comes with the Blu-ray, the Blu-ray is actually a legitimate part of the MVD Rewind Collection. So the 4K is laser vision, but you actually do get the actual like Rewind Collection Blu-ray. And they did a really cool job on this because this Blu-ray is actually a reference to Betamax. So that label on Betamax labels were a bit bigger than a VHS tape. And then over here on the 4K, this is a reference to a laser disc. This is a design of a laser disc. So that's really neat right there. So now we got the poster. This poster is super cool. It is just the cover art and the slip cover again. You get the little CED thing there. But what you don't get on the slip cover is this. Up here, this is the top of a CED. That's like the plastic tabs on the top of the CED. I really, really, really love this this poster, this cover art with Swamp Thing holding a uh, cable right there. It's beautiful. I love the packaging. I love the presentation of this whole release. I think it's one of the best uh, 4K discs that I've seen in a really long time. So final thoughts on it. I really, really, really like the packaging. But overall, when I'm looking at the movie and stuff, I think that you inherently do have to. I don't think it's for everybody. I think that you have to enjoy older, cheesier action movies and maybe older, cheesier superhero movies. Like if you enjoy the older Superman movies or, you know, anything pre Batman 1989, I think that you will dig this a whole lot. If that's not really your gig, you probably won't find this to be the best, most exciting movie in the world but it is still fun. There's a lot of fun to be had, but overall what the strength of this particular release is, is the tender love and care and the absolute love letter. I told Eric Wilkinson, who is the overseer of the MVD rewind collection when he was designing this stuff, I said, it feels like like the whole laser vision line uh, feels like a love letter to physical media. And that is exactly what I think what he wanted to hear because it really was, he put so much work and effort and love and passion into this release. And uh, if they keep up this uh, laser vision release, just like this, man, this is going to be one of the coolest boutique Blu-ray lines that we have. And there you have it. There's my review of Swamp Thing on 4k. It is out now. I'll put a link in the description where you can purchase it. Um, I'm not sponsored or affiliated in any way with MVD. So, and I don't have like anything like to gain from you purchasing it from like my link or anything at this point. So, but I, but I will just go ahead and link it to you just so you have a, a way, an easy way to get a hold of it. If you guys enjoyed this review, leave me a like and a comment and uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more. I've got a couple more things from MVD that I want to review. I'm, I've got uh, the Empire Screams box set review. I'm going to review each individual film, I believe. Uh, coming up soon in the near future. So stay tuned to, for that. Uh, go ahead and follow me on TikTok and check out Masters of Matinee every Blues Day, Tuesday at noon. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Have a great week.